G'day ladies and gentlemen, Beachy Bruce here with episode number two on the CBD hunting tips and tricks series that I'm doing. Now last episode I gave you some tips and tricks to help you work out those areas on where to go and in this one we're going to now implement those and see how we go. I brought the manticore out with me today, let's get into it. So that's a very small target. Um, I mean it might not physically be a small target but it shows up on the machine as a very small target. It's always a good one for your little uh, thrippies, little three pence. Cool. They show up very small. Um, and if it's a very small target, the machines can sort of say that a, a small target is deeper than what it is because of its size. So just be aware of that. So it's still down there. I always dig away from my targets, guys, because the last thing you want to do is, you know, hit a nice coin. And it does happen, especially with targets at depth. Pinpointing's just not as reliable at extreme depth. So leave a little bit of latitude. Uh, yeah, I've got it. Ah, here we go. Yep. So, three pence as I thought, and uh, it's a 59, so it's a very late one, so they're only 50% silver, which is why that number comes in a lot lower. But there we go. So that's my first pre-decimal for the day. That's awesome. Pretty scratchy, pretty nasty. A bit of a tip here for you guys too. If you're digging a hole like this and you come across something which you hit, don't just then push harder, work around it, move stuff out of the way and then have a look. Because you do need to realise that there, there is stuff in these parks which occasionally you can cut or damage. So you need to be aware of that. A little bit of care goes a long way. I'm saying this as a reminder because there was something just here that I hit, but it's actually a uh, tree root by the looks of things. Now that target might be in there, I think. So it's not very deep, unfortunately. We have a button. It's a military button. Yep, sure is. That's a pretty old one too. I wonder how it got so far up in the, oh, you know, there's rock here. So I wonder if the original soil depth is just, just down there. So there you go, we've pulled an old military button. Military, Australian military forces. And, oh, we've still got the loop on the back as well. Very nice, we'll clean that up, have a good look at it. Cool. Sounds very much like a two cent piece, this one. Two or one cent piece. Um, it's pretty clean, fairly small. It's not overly deep. Right, so target's just up the back here. I think I just got it. Yep, it's a coin. No, it's not a coin, it's a dog tag, I think. A 
or a pendant. Uh, oh, I nicked it on the back there. What are we doing? Oh, this is unusual. Oh, this is going to be something special, guys. Does it say Liberty? Does it say Liberty? There's Liberty on the back and the rising sun over the top there. Oh, this will be interesting to check out. Give it a good clean up and see what it is. Awesome. All right, guys, so as you can see, found some awesome targets today. That's utilizing some of those tips and tricks that we did in the previous episode. If you haven't seen that, jump onto the Miner's Den YouTube channel and you'll be able to find those episodes there. Now, hopefully next week, I'm going to find a brand new area and we'll work that one out together and see what we find there. So this has been Beachy Bruce for the Mine Lab Show.